Uh, we, we talked to uh, members of Congress about Israel and the U.S.'s relationship. All right, y'all go. There are some uh, biblical prophecies that say that control of, of Jerusalem by the Jews uh, is important for the second coming of, of Christ. This entire matter is based upon faith of our maker, of our creator, but it's also faith of a chosen people. Democrats using our law How would you like to see the Capitol Police There's a new government in Israel. Can you talk a little bit about the importance of the U.S. relationship with Israel? There have been two nations created to glorify God, Israel and the United States of America. I will bless both. I will honor both. I will do all I can to stand and defend them. Thank you, Congresswoman. Take care. I'm a reporter from The Intercept. I want to ask you about the hearing. Do you have a quick second? Sure, man. Do you think there's a role of uh, religious extremism here in the U.S. funding and shaping the, the conflict? I mean, there are a lot of folks who are part of the evangelical movement that want to support Israel. We support yeah, Israel, yeah, and yeah. we don't really kind of see that that same kind of constituent group pushing the other way. Yeah, I would label the Baptist or the uh, evangelical community as extreme because I believe, feel like they're following the scripture and what the scripture says about Israel. Those who bless Israel will be blessed. I mean, they, they take it literal and I'm one of those people. You know, there's some Christian Zionists that do believe in some of these biblical prophecies and they're very controversial within even within the Christian Zionist evangelical the community. Yeah, and believing in Armageddon that there will be a final battle around Jerusalem and that after that battle, you know, um, there's a judgment day, Jews will be killed or converted, Jesus will come back, there's going to be a rapture event. Um, what do you think about those kind of prophecies? I believe Jesus will come back and I'm, and I'm going to be on his side.